hi guys welcome to my channel once again this is bad talk with ola and i'm so thrilled to have you here once again if this is your first time on my channel please subscribe like my video leave me comments in the comment section and please by all means share the video far and wide today i want to talk about a very important topic in criminal litigation Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. This is Bar Talk with Ola. My name is Mujola Ola, your favorite lawyer in the building. Today, let's talk about a very important issue and that is how to commence a criminal trial. Criminal litigation is commenced by way of arraignment. What is arraignment? Arraignment is the process by which an accused person is brought to court to answer the charge against them. Usually, an accused person might have been released on bail or he might be in custody pending arraignment in court but once he's brought to court to answer the charge against him he must be brought to the court presented to the court unfettered unfettered means he must have no chains binding him on his feet or on his hands and this um, springs or stems from the presumption of innocence given to every accused person before the court of law in Nigeria. An accused person is presumed innocent until proven guilty. So he must be presented to the court unfettered and then his plea is taken. That's basically arraignment, taking of plea. Charge is ready to the accused person, the language he understands. The court will confirm that he understands the charge that has been read to him and then he pleads guilty or not guilty and that's an arraignment. But there are a few things to note that can render the trial or the arraignment a nullity. The first thing is that the accused person must be presented to the court unfettered. That is, he must have no chains on his hands or on his feet when he is called upon to answer the case against him. The second thing is that the accused person must understand the charge against him and the court must confirm that he understands. So for instance, if an accused person cannot communicate in English, which is the language of the court, an interpreter must be provided for him at no cost to him. That is, the court must provide an interpreter for free to the accused person to translate the charge against him to the language that he understands, after which he will take his plea. Another thing to note is that where there are several accused persons, the charge ought to be read to them individually. That is, each person must uh, understand the charge against him individually and then the plea must be taken individually. Another thing to note is that in a situation where maybe to save the court's time or there are several accused persons, the charge is read at once to all of them, the plea must still be taken individually. So one accused person cannot answer for everyone, even if the charge is only read to all of them once. An accused person must take his plea individually. His lawyer cannot take the plea for him. Although in a case where he does not have a lawyer, where his lawyer is not present, he can take his plea and that will not render the trial a nullity. But his lawyer cannot in his own absence take his plea for him. Another thing to note is that an accused person must take an unequivocal plea. So there are different pleas that can be taken that are valid before the court. The plea of guilty, the plea of not guilty, the plea of pardon, and the plea of autrefa acquit or autrefa convict. Autrefa acquit or autrefa convict just simply means that an accused person is telling the court that I have been convicted or I have been discharged and acquitted of this same charge before a court of competent jurisdiction. And this plea is allowed in order to prevent double jeopardy. The Constitution, the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended prevents double jeopardy. That means that you cannot convict an accused person for the same charge. So if a court of competent jurisdiction has already decided on the case, either convicting or you know discharging and acquitting the accused person, he can plea auto for acquit or auto for convict. The plea of pardon simply means that the accused person is telling the court that on this same count or for this same charge, I have been pardoned in the past. So if he has been pardoned for the same offense, the court cannot convict him or ask him to come and answer to that same charge again. Now, it doesn't mean that he has committed another offense. For instance, if someone has been pardoned for theft, if he commits theft again, that's different. But if it's the same theft we are talking about, the court cannot try him if he has been pardoned 
for that singular one and same offense and then the plea of not guilty it simply means that oh i am not guilty of this offense the accused person can take this plea if for instance he has an alibi that's been uh, you know uh, confirmed and properly investigated by the police or if for instance um he believes or his counsel believes and has advised him properly to do so that you know the proof of evidence before the court cannot successfully convict him or if an accused person is insisting on his or her innocence before the court he can plead not guilty in which case the burden of proving that he is guilty will now shift to the prosecution who now have to prove to the court that he is actually guilty also in murder trials in nigeria an accused person is not allowed to plead guilty so an accused person has to plead not guilty in murder trials even if he pleads guilty the court will record not guilty and then the burden will shift on the prosecution to establish his guilt and for the defense to establish otherwise and then there's the plea of guilty guilty simply means that an accused person is agreeing to or admitting that he actually committed the offense in which case the trial will be a summary one and then the court will arrive at its own decision in essence an accused person must take his plea before trial can commence in the nigerian court taking of plea is fundamental to the jurisdiction of a court in nigeria so where the plea has not been taken it can render the entire trial a nullity which means that the court just you know wasted its time as well as the counsel in the matter and every other person concerned plea must be taken in a criminal trial before the trial before the trial can commence and before the trial and whatever decision is arrived at can hold plea must be taken it's very essential and fundamental to the court's jurisdiction even if plea has been taken in a matter and the case is transferred to another court for trial de novo plea must be taken all over before the trial can continue so that's basically what arraignment means it's the process by which an accused person is brought to court the charge is read to him in the language that he understands and he takes an unequivocal plea which the court records before trial commences and then the prosecution now have the burden of proof to establish his guilt and the defense to establish otherwise i hope you learned a thing or two in this video i will see you in my very next video toodles